Let's discuss one of the most important tools for all traders and investors, no matter your time frame or experience level, and that is, you guessed it, you can see our mouse hovering over the beautiful button here that says indicators, or we can click slash on our keyboard and instantly the menu opens up. Now, before we really dive into indicators, including everything that comes with them, pay close attention to the fact it says indicators, metrics, and strategies. So this button up here, indicators, is going to introduce you to a lot more than just technical indicators because you guessed it, you also have financials, you have scripts, you have your own scripts, you have your favorites, and of course, you also have strategies. And if you do continue to dive down into these different topics, well, you have volume profiles as well as automatic chart patterns. Whoa, 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 that's a lot, right? Okay, let's back up a second. So what is the point of indicators? The point of indicators is to measure price on your chart. It's to look at price in a new way. It's to make sure that you are following a trend or perhaps looking for a support zone or maybe just trying to measure risk and reward and get some probabilities back. Well, many technical traders out there prefer to use technical indicators. And as you can see, we have the technicals selected here and we have indicators selected here and all we have to do is scroll down to see all of the indicators that are available to us now you may notice that on some of these indicators we have a star selected well that means that it is a favorite of ours we are telling the TradingView platform that we want this indicator to know that it's one of our favorite indicators and now we can find that in our favorite section so we can access it super quickly and easily. Now, once you've found the indicator that you want to add, it's really as simple as just clicking. So if you want to add Bollinger Bands, for example, you go ahead and click that. And as you can see behind us, the chart updated. Well, now we have Bollinger Bands added to our chart and you can do everything like this yourself. A quick point before we dive into more indica indicators is to always remember that you can double click on an indicator to open up its settings menu or you can right click on an indicator to add an alert or to change the visual order or to look at so much more about that indicator including of course opening up the settings menu. Now you're going to notice that a lot of the indicators have somewhat similar settings menus. Let us just introduce you to the basics. First of all, you're almost always going to see a length and that's just the time frame that you want the indicator to calculate. So right now it says 20 and we're on a daily chart. So that means we are looking at Bollinger Bands over the last 20 days. But maybe we want to do 30 days because there's 30 days in a month. We click OK and it recalculates. So you can adjust that in the settings menu. You can also do source. Do you want it to calculate from the close or from the open or from the open high low close divided by four? All of this is up to you. And then of course, you're going to get specific inputs related to that indicator. Standard deviation is a function of Bollinger Bands, so you can change it that way. All right, let's back up because that did just get a little bit advanced. So let us go back to Bollinger Bands. In fact, while we show you this, for example, we want you to also keep in mind that you can use the search box to find any indicator, metric, or strategy that you want. You can see here we typed in Bollinger Bands and check it out our search is now returning everything out there related to Bollinger Bands. Now, right now, Bollinger Bands is a technical indicator. If we were to type in something like revenue, which is a fundamental indicator, financials, you can find that here, you're going to see financials and you're going to see all of the revenue indicators available to you. In addition, you may have already noticed it says community scripts down here at the bottom and there's even a community button here. Well, community scripts are scripts that are coded by traders and investors from around the world and they are their own interpretation of modern or old or new indicators and concepts and ideas. Okay, let us go back though really quick to the Bollinger Bands example and remind you that there is a little tooltip button here with a question mark that says show description. If you click this, you can now read about Bollinger Bands. You are now introduced to your own free 
free educational resource about any indicator that you've ever wanted to learn about, that's right, you can do this yourself just by clicking that little question mark to learn more. All right, you now have a high-level overview of the indicators strategies and metrics menu but before we wrap up this video we just want to remind you of a few things keep in mind that that financials only work for equities or stocks because stocks have financials they report things like revenue or cost of goods sold and you can sort that by balance sheet or cash flow or statistics so you can see market capitalization or price to earnings ratio pe ratio or price to sales ratio in fact let's click this button here price to sales ratio now you can see the indicator is on the chart right here so now we have price which is the candles we have bollinger bands which is the technical indicator and below here, we have PS ratio, which is a fundamental indicator. So we have price, technicals, and fundamentals all at once happening on this chart. And that is available to you every single time you open up this menu. So we hope that this helps you get started, that you dive in, learn something new about technicals, financials, and scripts, and go ahead and just dive right in because it's the quickest way to get started learning about technical analysis including the strategies and the profiles and the automatic patterns, which by the way, automatic patterns sound just like what they are. You can automatically ask the TradingView platform if it can detect a specific pattern on your chart, and then that will appear on your chart. Profiles, of course, is a way to look at volume and to measure volume at the chart. We hope that this video gets you started. Be sure to dive right in.